Hello everybody, and uh, today we're going to be making some strawberry cheese with a half gallon of milk and some vinegar. So, follow me along on this wonderful adventure. Okay, so to start out, you got to get yourself a nice pot. Pot, pot, pot for boiling or simmering some milkies. So we're going to turn that up to low. And we're going to unscrew, oh gosh, this is hard to do with one hand. Easy to do with the left, apparently. Okay, so, I'm going to pour in this half gallon of milkies. Mmm, smells sweet. It's been so long since I've had strawberry milk. So we're going to pour that in. And... Gonna put the lid on there. Where's the lid? Okay, so it's been a little bit, and the milkies have now been warmed to about blood warm. Yep, ideal. And we have about seven tablespoons of vinegar, <clears throat> and we're gonna pour that into the half gallon. Seven tablespoons to a half gallon. And we're going to mix that up. And we're going to also take that off the heat while we're at it. It was on low, so we'll just let that sit on the burner. Eh. No, we'll take that off the burner. It's already turned into curd. Good. Yum, yum, yum. All right, well, we will see you in a bit. Okay, so it's been a bit, and the cheese is looking pretty, well, curdy. So, we're going to go on to the next step, which is pouring this baby in there. Not the cat. Baby. Not you, baby. Where's your girl? But it's time for us to pour this in. Yummy. that on there and we're gonna you can uh, do this with um, cheesecloth as well that's <clears throat> why it's called cheesecloth you can squeeze out all the way but I um, I don't I don't have any cheesecloth so I use uh, an iron mesh strainer sure you might lose a bit and it may not you know Turn out the best, but uh, fight me. <laughs> Please don't. I'm 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 very very weak. Don't hit me. Um, but you can already see it's starting to look a little like cottage cheese. So we're basically going to be getting all of the way we possibly can out of this. Do a little bit of a rolling method. Centrifuge, centrifuge the cheese, the strawberry cheese, delicious, and uh, eventually we're going to um, run this back through to catch any last bits of curd that might have formed, and, uh, and then we're going to put it in this jar, uh, pff, jar, <laughs> in this glass uh, bowl, and then uh, pop it in the microwave for like 30 seconds at a time until it, uh, until, until it happens. So we'll, uh, we'll get to that point. So I'm going to stir this up. You just sit tight and uh, we'll be right back. So now that we have the uh, curd and the whey separated, we're going to try to microwave the crap out of the curd. And 
and uh, no, only for about 30 seconds at a time, maybe a minute. Um, but we're going to try to melt out the rest of that whey and get it into more of a, a solid form, as it were. So now we just need to wait. Okie dokie. So, you know, see a little stuff comes out. Um, it's a little more solidified. That's good. So, you know, we can actually start kneading the... Oh. <laughs> no, we cannot. Uh, we can just start squeezing a little bit more out. Get it into a little more, more solid form. And uh, we're just going to have to uh, use this again. So... <laughs> One moment. You know, you know what happens. So you want to knead and press the curd to get all of the uh, whey out of it. So it won't create pockets when it solidifies. Now, this may not solidify all that well because it is strawberry, and I think there's a little bit of syrup in there making it a little bit softer. But once you can't press any more uh, whey out of the current one, you know, you want to dump that into your whey bucket, put this back in there, and then, you know, put it in the microwave for another run. So we're going to do just that. This is after the process one more time. We got a lot out. Uh, we put it in for a minute that time. So basically, you want to uh, squeeze the heck out of it and then um, press it into what would be a Pepto-Bismol cheese burger. This will uh, microwave well and you can squeeze it tighter and tighter and tighter, get the rest of the way out of there. And um, basically after that, um, you can refrigerate it or you can soak it. Um, we're going to uh, refrigerate this and um, we're going we're, we're gonna to see what it tastes like. And here we are, finally. Um, I let the cheese cool for a bit. It is a vibrant pink oh my gosh that is it nearly hurts the eyes it's a lot more vibrant in person um but uh we're we're gonna try that and uh i thought we'd uh have a little celebration uh, because over the course of this video i hit 300 subscribers uh thank you um and so I, I decided to bottle uh, my alcohols and try the end pours and give you my reviews on each of them. Currently today, I have my dandelion wine. Um, the, these are the end pours, so they do have all the yeast and stuff. I like the flavor in them. I don't know. I'm weird. Um, but then we also have uh, cranberry and uh, one that I've never really done before, sundrop. Now, Sundrop was difficult because uh, I needed to adjust the pH level for it to actually ferment. And that, that, that's a story for a different day. Right now, we're, we're, we're more worried about this pink block. Of, uh, uh, this. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're just going to cut this. Yeah. One-handed cut. And another cut. So, I want to thank you all for like sticking with me for you know all these years like 300 300 is a decent amount of subscribers I, I won't sneeze at that like very much very grateful but today we have this delicious if it will focus um looking uh <laughs> strawberry cheese and um yeah hope doesn't taste like garbage. Hopefully it tastes nice. You know, I had a little bit of it uh, initially, you know, when I was making it. It's like, hmm. So. A lot firmer than the chocolate. 
I'll be honest, a lot better consistency. You can still taste the strawberry. It's a mild sweetness. But with the texture of cheese. I like. Hmm. That is good. That is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nom nom. But. Mmm. Gee willikers. That cheese sure made me thirsty. So. I'm going to try this one first. That one was done to dry. Um, huh. I'm not really sure how to uh, describe that. It's kind of like if green tea was a wine. Hmm. I don't hate it. It lost a lot of its, uh, subtle, a lot of the subtle sweetness because I... Yeah, again, fermented it until it, there, there, there was no bubbles left, so... Yeah, I missed the bubbles. Well, time for a little bit more cheese. Clear the palate. That was too much cheese. It's starting to become overpowering. The aftertaste is like yogurt. Now, I've made cranberry before, so, and it hits out of the park just like it did beforehand. Oh my gosh, the tartness, perfect, 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 perfect. Mm. I think there might still be a little bit of fermentation going on in there, but not too bad. Um, I'll cold crash it for longer and, uh, and bottle it. But uh, I, I, I do like, I do like the, um, do like the cranberry. And finally, huh? The Sunday taste, uh, it's, it's, sun drop tastes like. Best way I can really describe it is. Watered the 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 watered down flavor of Trick cereal mixed with cheap orange juice. It is um. Yeah. Ugh. Could also be because I'm drinking the uh, end pour, but uh. yeah, and more cheese, more cheese will save me. Anyway, we'll 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 uh, finish this delicious cranberry juice, uh, cranberry wine, to uh, clear our palate. And uh, so, if you stuck to the end, thank you very much. I I appreciate you. Um, like. I, I hope to be uploading more, you know, let me know what, 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 uh, what cheese you want to see next. I saw eggnog. I'm definitely going to do that when it's in season. So, uh, be looking out for that. Uh, until then, you know, stay warm. Don't forget to brush your teeth, and, you know, floss. Uh, have a good day. Bye.